What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex. This is Ask the Cheese Gaming. So the Nintendo 64 is a console that time and time again, it always seems to pull me back. I can be off playing other things, drift off to other games, but eventually I always find myself firing up the Nintendo 64. And I thought, you know what? With the summer months coming around, why not offer up five games from my collection that I think would be good to play in these warm summer months? on this wonderful console. So I pulled five games from my system. We got a purple Midnight Fantastic, and I'm also gonna throw in a bonus one for you as well. So let's just jump right into the list, a little bit about each game. First one, probably best one in this entire list. Fantastic game, Diddy Kong Racing. What I'm trying to go for with this list is games that you could just like, you know, pick up and play for a few minutes, maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes, at most an hour, and then go out and do something else. I figure the weather, weather going to be nice. I'm trying to kind of avoid RPGs, but sure, you could play Diddy Kong Racing for hours and hours, but I mean, with so many things to do outside, be in the garden or just outside enjoying the weather, I would, you know, you could pick up, do a couple races in this game, and then go do something else. So next one, I wanted to try to throw a fighting game in here. There's not a whole lot to pick on the Nintendo 64, but I thought, why not? Clay Fighter 63 and a third, still a relatively cheap cartridge. So this game is by no means a great fighting game, but I find it entertaining enough. I would say, however, if you're under 18, don't play this one. This game is not meant for kids. It doesn't take itself seriously. It's got its own unique sense of humor. But I still think it's a pretty cool, unique fighting game. And I like how you could do claytalities at the end of the game. So that's always kind of fun. Now, maybe it's end of the night and you're trying to unwind and relax. Maybe you've been at work all day and you just want something to kind of mellow out before you go to sleep. So why not? Let's pick a puzzle game, sort of. Virtual Pool 64. Whether you want to first the computer or you just want to shoot around by yourself... This game's got a great soundtrack in it. Could be a relaxing game. Or there's a bunch of trick shot challenges, so there's a lot to it. But I mean, realistically, you could sit down and play this game for like 10, 15 minutes. And like I said, go do something else. Again, with this list so far, I'm trying to avoid anything like RPGs. But that's going to suck up a huge amount of your time. So we're going to go right into number four. And by the way, quick editing note here. Uh, these are in no specific order, just random games that I pull from my collection that I thought would be worthwhile to pick up and try this summer or to add to your collection and try the, during these summer months. If you'd like to see me do one for like say the fall or for the winter season, comment below. Or even maybe for, you know, pull fall or five games from my Xbox 360 collection that you can see back there. Anyway, let's continue on with the list. We just talked about Virtual Pool 64. Gotta go with a favorite. When I think of summertime, I think boys of the summer, baseball, being at the ballpark, listening to baseball on the radio or watching it on the TV. So personal favorite baseball game of mine. I love this game. Major League Baseball featuring Ken Griffey Jr. for the Nintendo 64. Very solid title. Good controls. Can't go wrong with this one. In my experience, most times you could easily play a full nine innings in like half an hour to 35 minutes. 40 if you're just going off scoring all kinds of crazy runs 25 if it's more of a pitching duel so major league baseball featured king griffey jr that's game number four game number five sometimes you just want to blow stuff up right you need to let off some steam so why not blast corp for the nintendo 64 pick the type of demolition mech i guess you'd say that you want to use and there's actually a lot to this game. The story is that you have to guide these nukes through specific sites and you gotta blow everything up in your path. Just gotta demo it away. And it could be pretty challenging to try to get a really good high score. So we got Blast Core and the Nintendo 64. Now again, let's run through those five games real quick and then I'll give you guys a bonus. Let me spread them out here. We got Diddy Kong Racing. A racing game, Clay Fighters, a fighting game, 
virtual pool. I say kind of a puzzle game. Griffey baseball, well, duh, a sports baseball game. And then I'd say kind of a action puzzle game in Blast Corp. And why not, let's throw in a bonus one for you. A game that you could play all year round. It's always so much fun. Great physics, great controls. Fantastic game. Must own on the console. Wave Race 64. Probably is even more fun during the summer months. I'll definitely be featuring this one again on a Time Trial Tuesday episode very soon. So, you guys got five that you'd like to recommend for the Nintendo 64? Comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it.